Alec, was this um, a slightly different window in terms of I was normally you want to try and strengthen the squad? This almost felt like you're trying to m manage the uh, evolution of the squad almost to get money. Is that a different challenge for you this time around? I think it's, it's a bit of both. I mean, I think um, when you've got money to spend and you're just basically trying to strengthen the squad, then your sole concern is making sure that you bring the best quality of player that you can in. And obviously, the finance thing is going to be important because if you spend it all on one person, then obviously you can't strengthen different areas. Um, I think on this occasion, obviously, with us having came down last year, we've got to look at sort of managing... Um, the outgoings of the squad in terms of what we're paying out each week, each month, each year, um, but also try to keep the squad as strong as it can be to give us the best opportunity to, to go back up, basically, because that's where the, the finance is, do you know what I mean? And that's what we want to do. So um, it's by no means try to strip the squad. Um, do you know what I mean? Obviously, Robbie's left, Martin's left, um, but equally, we've spent good money on other players. Do you know what I mean? But I, th I think it's like anything else. Once you get to a point with some players, obviously, when they're... I wouldn't say their heads turn, but when their hearts set on maybe going elsewhere <coughs> and there's been sort of um, a lot of interest in them, it's then what you better doing, letting them go and try to get somebody who wants to be here and fight for the cause, or do you try and keep them... I wouldn't say against their will, because that would be unfair, but certainly when their heads turned a little bit, you're maybe not capable of getting the maximum out of them. Um, and that's where I think that falls on you. Yeah, because I wanted to ask you about Robbie. I mean, he got a, a little bit of stick over the course of the season. I mean, how did you find him dealing with it, with, with his commitment there as far as you were concerned? R Ro Robbie Brady was an absolute model professional and a top, top lad as a boy. Really, really nice lad. Worked really hard, really respectful. Um, you couldn't have asked for any better. Great stuff. M Mitchell, how hard did you have to work for that deal? Because I think... Possibly wanted him in London yeah, alone initially, and you had to go back to him. I, th I think the thing is with Mitchell, I mean, obviously things get documented. He came here, had a look, didn't like it, so a lot of rubbish. I mean, what, what basically happened is there's a young lad who's 23, he's got really close ties with his family, um, and moving for him was a big jump, and I think he got a little bit a little bit scared. I mean, I think, I think he looked and thought, I'm not quite sure I'm ready for this at the moment. Um, I sensed that in him when I spoke to him. Hence the reason why I went back in for him and loan, because normally once that deal breaks down, you would then think to yourself, right, cut ties and move on. Um, but I could see that he did want to come. I mean, we had a really good chat. He was he, he was really enthusiastic about it. But he went back to speak to his family, um, and that obviously swayed his mind. So I knew it wasn't anything to do with the football. I knew it wasn't anything to do with the place. I knew it wasn't anything to do with what we're trying to do. It was just basically a, a young kid who's looking and thinking, Am I ready for this now, or do I just sort of stay where I'm at? Um, and what we've managed to do for both parties, which I think is good, is it gives us an opportunity to look at him. It gives him an opportunity to come here and look at us and, and see what it's like. And then hopefully, if everything works out, then we can move it on. And that's the benefit of Yannick coming in at the same time against having another Dutchman alongside him. You've kind of done that before, haven't you, with, with uh, Pinto at uh, uh, Vivo and obviously bringing Nelson in. Yeah, well. to be honest, it, it wasn't done by design. I mean, I didn't go and think, I'm, oh, I've signed one Dutch player, so let's get another one. <laughs> Double um, yeah, and, and the fact is, the pleasing thing is, and I'm not sure you're aware of this, but they both played together at Helmveen when they were younger. They both played in the Dutch under-21s together as well, obviously on the same side. Um, so, yeah, it's, that helps. Um, but, yeah, Yannick was a player which um, I think, it, certainly this season in the games that I've watched them, is a match winner. Do you know I mean, I think you can't have enough of them in your team. Just on Jez, what are your thoughts on why he's left? Why it's ended? No idea. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Lovely. Thank you, Alex. Thank you.